All right, we're back on the college basketball experience, and guys, it's Grambling, right? <laughs> yeah, right. It, it was it was North Texas a couple of years ago. It was fairly Dickinson last year. Grambling is going to be the team to do this, right? Are they going to beat yeah. Montana State? I don't know. They're red hot to end the season, but I, I'm saying who's who's getting Purdue? Is it Grambling? Is it Montana okay. State? Is it TCU I came on here in the second and round? Said it. Last year, I came on here and said it. When they get to the mountaintop, <laughs> they come crashing <laughs> down. And so I guess the best thing for them is that they stumbled on in and maybe they can get, grab some momentum. So maybe Purdue wins a couple of games this year. But I told you, when they reach the mountaintop, it comes all crashing down for them. Yeah, yeah. and you also said that Shaka wasn't going to fall in the first weekend, and he did. So, Yeah, but Ooh, Purdue was even oh, better. Man. Yeah, a little chippy Let's at the airport. Hold on there, for that huh? one. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, we're talk- yeah. We must be talking yeah. Purdue right now. <laughs> yeah, the only time Noah, Noah, do you st- do you have a brother or sister? Do you stick up for your brother and sister like you do Purdue? I do have a sister, but there you go, there you go. Then watch out, Noah. He knows where the bodies are at. Um, uh, so the one sixteen is well, it's the playing game is Montana State Grambling. So Purdue. Against Montana State or Grambling, then uh, the two fifteen is Tennessee and St. Peter's. What could go wrong there? Um, the the three seed here is Creighton. The fourteen is Akron. I'm intrigued by that game. Uh, the four thirteen is Kansas and Samford. The five twelve is Gonzaga McNeese. Will Wade strong ass offer for you. The uh, six eleven is South Carolina Oregon. So it was a fun season, in South Carolina. The seven ten is Texas against the the playing game, Virginia, Colorado State. Talk about contrast and styles. Um, the what is it? The eight nine is Utah State TCU. Terrell, what's the first thing that stands out to you in the uh, the Midwest region here? Hmm. I was wondering where McNeese was gonna land up land, man. I, I really want to root for this McNeese team. Kind of sick that it was Gonzaga. I've got him in the second weekend. I would love, Whoop. I would love to see McNeese go on a run. I was I was looking for them when they who do you guys uh, have winning that Virginia Colorado State game? Because why do I just find that game hilarious? It's like Colorado State just runs up the court, shoots all these crazy shots. <laughs> they both don't belong there. Like Colorado State yeah. should be fur- further in, and Virginia should be further out. And you know yeah. what? It's probably going to go the other way. Virginia's probably going to win that one. More than likely, <laughs> Virginia's probably going to win. That's just a hilarious game. Uh, NC Nick, what, is there one that that jumps out to you here on this on this region? That I think Kansas better watch the fuck out. You know, <laughs> yeah. if they're playing tight. And if Sanford comes out there just running and gunning, playing loose and free, you know, pushing pace, I think Sanford could give Kansas all they want. Um, damn. And for, so you- for what it's worth, I, I forget who said it on the CBS show that I was listening to. This is being played in Salt Lake City. Bucky Ball and Sanford, they play 9 10 deep in their rotation. Kansas not being fully healthy. I mean, that's high altitude. Kansas is in trouble. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's a that's an interesting game there. We'll see if they can put it together, but uh, um, either way, it's it's it should be a good one. But uh, NC Nick saying what uh, Sanford if they're playing uh, free spirited, hippie Olympics doesn't matter who wins because they're all losers. Um, <laughs> it's Bill Bill Walton on the call. Or is, that, is that NC Nick or is that Bill Walton? Um, <laughs> I said loose and free. I don't think I said uh, free spirited. Oh, all right. Maybe I misheard you. Uh, maybe it's me that's being free spirited. Um, uh, I think the TCU Purdue matchup of the second round stands out to me. Yeah, Mac. Oh I know you wanted to talk about this. Your thoughts on uh, Utah State getting the eight seed? I think that's a bad draw to get TCU as the nine. Agreed, Once again, man. they did a favor. This is what I'm saying. They did a favor for Michigan State. Yes, that's what I'm saying like. <laughs> And, 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 and Colby, think about what TCU's done the last two years when they've been the nine or six seed. They took Gonzaga to the wire last year, second round. Two years ago, they should have beat Arizona. So for the Utah State to draw TCU, I was like, damn, that's a fucking brutal 8-9 matchup. Um, I got a couple for, uh, coaches coaching against their former team potentially in the round of 32. Obviously, they have to win the games. Rick Barnes potentially against Texas. Dana Altman, 
they got to beat South Carolina, but potentially against Creighton in the round of 32. Mm. So you got a, you got a couple storylines. Um, I think Kansas is going to beat Sanford's ass. I, it, that was Seth Davis that said that. And fate Seth Davis season is in effect. Whenever he called for an upset, always go the other way. So yeah. uh, I think Kansas sat their guys. They're going to be healthy. They'll have a week to prepare for Bucky Ball. I just I think Bucky Ball's size will wear down throughout the game. I think Kansas will will, will get it done. Do you guys think Akron could beat Creighton? So it's in Pittsburgh. Akron's actually pretty damn close. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I don't even. I think like it's... Enrique Freeman. I like Ali Ali. I know Creighton though can score so so well. And but... and the issue is, is they have Big East Defensive Player of the Year Ryan Kalkbrenner down low. And Akron's strength is that front court, so yeah, that's going to be an interesting a bad matchup. matchup for Freeman because I think we were talking like on, on on X last night saying that you know the Mac school in the first round they always do well, but I, I kind of think this is a bad matchup for Akron, which is a shame because they're also one of the teams I was kind of thinking of for a first round upset, but I'm not sure about here. What about Oregon taking down South Carolina? Why do yeah. I feel like that's going to happen? Even though I I like the <laughs> South Carolina team, I just feel like Altman though. Always, you know, gets the thing rolling, yeah. and then you know they're as dangerous as anybody. Like where? Wh- that, that's the last thing I want to end with. I guess. I mean, I, mean, I know we got. I want to ask you guys your thoughts on this, but also I want to keep in mind. Last year, what do we have? How many one seeds made the the final four? Zero, right? Zero. How Zero. many one seeds? Nick said two earlier. Terrell, how many one seeds do you think is in the final four this year? Minimum of one, maximum of two. Mac, what are you what are you doing with one seeds? I'm going one. I'm going one. That's Noah? usually the average. It's usually average is around one or two, one and a half, I think. I like Noah. two. I like two. I like two this year too. I think two is going to happen. But uh, yeah, I mean, to, to me, the, the game that I want UNC right. Like, is there nope. any Purdue. Is there <laughs> is there any question? I think it's Houston. I think it's Houston and somebody. I don't know. I gotta. I got this. I'm just reacting to this, and my readings are all fucked up. I don't know what's going on. Uh, all of it is instant reaction, baby. Name yeah. of the show. Yeah. Um, what's the game you want to see most in that in that in that uh, Midwest region there, Nick? You know, uh, it's probably Gonzaga, McNeese, or like I said earlier, Kansas, Samford. Uh, yeah. Again, all the five twelves are fire, and I do think Samford's a live dog there. Yeah. Uh, Mac, what's the one you want to see most? It's that. What is it? Oh, you're gonna go. You're just gonna go TCU and uh, Utah I, I, State. Yeah, I I think that's a that's an intriguing matchup because Utah State's been a team that's overachieved, and it, I, from a physicality standpoint, can they hold up against TCU? TCU is a is a unique team to prepare for because of their size and speed. So, um, I'm. I'm I think that game's great. That that screams what? It's Friday. I bet you it's gonna be like a Friday at 10 p.m. game on the East Coast. Last game of the first round. Yeah. Let me ask you this: If Virginia or Colorado State wins, can they beat Texas in the yes. second round, guys? Do you yeah, th- <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Virginia. It's, uh, Rodney Terry. <laughs> it's true. <laughs>